and welcome to NDTV. I'm Rohit Kilnani. Today's show is called Unfaithfully Yours. Is India Out of Love? We have a really nice panel. First thing on a Monday morning. Can't ask for anything more. Neha Dupia, Sony Rajdhan, Tikman Shudhulia, Anupriya Goenka and Abhijita Kulshreshta. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Uh, Abhijita, you are here as a relationship expert. You're going to tell us what people come to you nowadays for. Uh, Tikman Shudhulia has directed a show Out of Love. Sony ji is in the show along with Purab Kohli who joins us from London. And guys, uh, you all have all done enough work. You all know enough people to discuss this topic. What we are discussing is modern day relationships. Uh, infidelity we have to discuss, we have to discuss monogamy uh, because this all is connected. Uh, my first question is that when, if we go back in time, uh, why is it that, firstly is it true, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, we didn't hear say for example in the 40s, 50s, 60s, we didn't hear much of divorce, separation, infidelity. Maybe 70s, 80s we all knew one or two people, okay this person is divorced and it was a big taboo at that time and now we all know someone or the other who separated from their spouses, just affairs gone wrong. What do you think? Is it, has it changed with time or was it always there and we just didn't know? Uh, I mean, you know, Rohit, if you're only talking about divorce and we're not addressing all the other sub uh, the topics that, you know, we have to cover within the interview, I just also feel that, you know, it's uh, divorce is a two-way voice. Right. And I feel like many years ago or centuries ago, it was one of those things where um, the woman didn't have such a strong voice right. and I feel like it was um, it was okay or maybe taken for granted that the man would go out stray, come back and it would maybe probably, you know, affect the woman mentally, which of course, even if it's revealed to her today, um, uh, she would feel like that. But if you go back, you know, many, many years, um, I feel like um, maybe at that point it wasn't an option. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it must have okay. been, but I feel like today it's an option. Um, uh, men in relationships know that a commitment should be a commitment. And mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, because they know that they can miss out or lose out on everything, you know, it can slip out of their hands. Right. Um, uh, they should be more wary as opposed to what mm. it used to be. Um, also, if you talk about, you know, monogamy and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I mean, of course, um, I feel like now I was reading up a little bit about it and, and very recently there was the law passed that, you know, monogamy is archaic mm. and therefore uh, it's, it's not adultery and right. you won't be like sent behind bars. bars but right. many years ago. Right. That it, it was like a criminal offense. Right, right. So, yeah, there, there are many different takes to it, sure, I feel. Sure, sure. Uh, is it true that Dada Dadi ka divorce kam hota tha, aaj youngsters ka zada ho rahe? Nee, divorce kam hota tha, definitely. Ah, okay. Iska ye nahi ki, uh, there were no extramarital affairs. Right. And I just like to say something because we're talking about infidelity. Right. I have a take on it, and sure. it's not just my take, it's a lot of what I've read over the years. Okay studies and very many years ago I read a very interesting uh, article in the Time magazine which very clearly said you know the fact of the matter is marriage is a man-made institution right nature by bio biology wants you to propagate as a species hmm. so nature does not give a damn whether you are married whether you are unmarried hmm. whether whoever you are hmm. whether you are 12 years old or whether you're 20 you know hmm. 60 years old hmm. the fact of the matter is it wants you to propagate the species coming back to Dada Dadi's time <laughs> um, because of all these reasons that I've just mm. mentioned, uh, obviously infidelity existed. It didn't. Right. It's not that it didn't exist, but people, uh, uh, as Neha very rightly said, uh, divorce ne hota tha tabhi. Now the reason it didn't happen is a there was a stigma attached to it. B also because women were not economically independent. Mm -hmm. Divorce karke kya karte the? Maa baap bolte the maa tau ghar pe. So they they were not. Where, what right. were they supposed to yeah. do? Yeah. And uh, there were very few people who would give shelter to a woman who was divorced. Right. It was therefore it was labelled because right. there was no recourse to right. any kind of a you know uh, option for a woman. Right. So she couldn't leave the marriage. Sure. Uh, Tikmanshu, where did the idea of this show come from? This is such a relevant show. Whether you made it today, even if you had made it ten years earlier, or if you make it ten years later, this is such a relevant topic. Where did this come from? It's an original uh, BBC show called right. Doctor Foster. Right. And. Uh, when it came to me, I mean, I, I don't really kind of, uh, my interest is not this hmm. relationship and I'm more into dark spaces. Pulled it off very well after not being interested. Yes, I mean, it, because <laughs> I took it as a challenge, as you know, let me right. have this material, something new to me and hmm. let's see how I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm 50, 52 years old now. <laughs> so then I, I had my own take on it, hmm. the way we adapted it into the Indian scenario. Right. What has the feedback been so far? been good. I yeah. wasn't expecting it. 
Great. On that note, let's go across to Poorab Kohli, who joins us from London. Poorab is the lead actor from Out of Love. Poorab, this is such a relatable show. We were just discussing that. You tell us what do you think makes this show so relatable. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. I think the the show is quite relatable, and I think what makes it relatable is the setting in itself. It's a small town. Then I think a very another aspect of it is the infidelity. I think uh, that's something that's uh, always uh, that you know sort of. props people's ears up and makes their ears stand uh, because i think somewhere down the line uh, people have always questioned uh, probably uh, their their animalistic uh, the 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 presence of uh, uh, polygamy in 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 uh, in the basic uh, animals that we are anupriya uh, when you talk to your friends um, from this generation mm. uh, I, what what is it that youngsters face i'm told that youngsters have it really tough millennials is a word that is very loosely used ki are ye to millennial hai they really have it tough isn't it very tough because everything is so vague now and mm. everything overlaps one another first mm. of all there is a whole concept of casual dating now yeah yeah and i have always believed when there is a case of infidelity to begin with there is a relationship issue there is something pr- problematic in your own relationship okay. so rather than just shouting out of the rooftops that you were cheated on if you want to stay with the person that is then you need to figure out if where the problem want. started Fair. and if you can first of all resolve that Fair. it doesn't just end at whether you were cheated on or did you cheat on someone it's basically where issue. the relationship okay. as is at that point in time okay abita you tell us um, <laughs> these are yeah you were hearing yes. a lot of confused generation because the kind of problem she's telling us uh, wh- what are the kind of people who come to you and what are the cases is there one common problem or it's all over the place oh it's all over the place it's a very <laughs> broad spectrum if you have to categorize it somehow yes relationships form a huge part and in today's times particularly you know self esteem is the first entity mm. which is taking the hit in impossible standards right. of beauty of lifestyle of mm. appearance let's say there is a lady who is married to a person who is gay in his orientation mm. but because of the pressure he's had a child and the yeah. good thing is he says you can see whoever you want right. but the lady is her pickers gone all wrong and she's picking up all the wrong men because she's hurting So when I sit and look at these people I have to be very gender neutral. I always believe it hurts the man as much as it hurts right. the woman and hurt people hurt people. Right. We'll also take a look at a survey done by Hotstar. Here are the figures. Take a look. Hotstar out of love survey findings show that 50% of India is insecure in marriages. 55% check their partner's phone without their knowledge. 48% said wanted to check their partner's phone without their knowledge. India is forgiving. Almost 50% of Indians are willing to forgive their partner's infidelity. The question asked was if you found out that your partner is cheating on you what would you do? 49% said they will forgive, 21% said they will forget and 30% said they will fight. For 50% of India infidelity is not just about a physical relationship. The question asked was what is the worst form of cheating? 47% said physical infidelity 37% said emotional infidelity and 16% said social media infidelity so hotstar has done this amazing survey um, the figures are out there but i'll just give you a brief of that one in every four indians worry that their partners will cheat this is one thing 61 from love marriages have spied on their spouses 61 percent. Yeah, okay. 59 percent women are more insecure as compared to the men. So you know, earlier also when you were answering and we were talking about how men are cheating, is this a man-woman thing or in today's day and age, everybody is on the same page? It's about opportunity, and if you get a chance to cheat, you just go ahead and do it. You have to be very gender neutral about it. Like mm. you know, it's not that. Uh, if if a married man is cheating there is a huge i don't know if you've done that survey but maybe you mm. should go back and do that survey that sure. a married man is cheating on his wife with married with a married woman so it's not a man woman thing it was very interesting what you said that maybe the person's unhappy and they're mm. not looking within and they just feel like you know maybe going and cheating on someone mm. it could be a thing of boredom it could be lack of excitement it could be any reason right. i've come across a lot of uh, men who've been cheated on as yeah. well and i i feel bad for the women who've been cheated on and and 
you know mm. it's not a good place it's not a good place. low self esteem you start yeah, judging yeah, yourself yeah. you feel like you know it's the end of the mm. road for you because mm. there are times that a man goes and cheats or a woman goes and cheats but the other one is still 100% in 100%. the relationship usne kya kiya hai yaar in fact uh, sonali ji i love talking to bhatsap about this and we have had lot of chats about it he in fact is the one who put this idea in my mind and when we were discussing with a lot of people that अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं मिला है तो उसने कुछ नहीं किया है पुट दिस पर्सन इन साइड अ रूम विथ वन गॉजस गर्ल और अ ग्रेट गाय एंड देन यू सी इट विल बी कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट डू यू अग्री दैट्स you know lot of times there was a lack of opportunity so they were jay is honest and this relationship was great now everybody has great options so is that a thing why uh, so yeah. my question to you is why do you think everybody has great options why what has changed that suddenly somebody because you because have tinder access, and you have yeah because i have dating other. apps and i have whatsapp and instagram and all kinds of things I would say so, but I think at the end of the day, it's still a personal choice. Mm. It's not about op- opportunities. You can put thousand fantastic hunks in front of me. I won't choose one of them simply because at this point in my life, I'm not interested. Yeah. So I have to be at a point in my life, right. and I'm talking now as a woman, right. not as a man. I'm talking about myself. Hmm. I have to be at a point in my life where I feel I need something. I need extra. extra validation outside my marriage mm. i need somebody to pay me attention mm. i need somebody to say i'm beautiful i need somebody to open the door for me stupid things mm-hmm. i need somebody to just give me call call me up and say how are you doing and i love you or something so as a woman and i'm not saying as a woman so only me i'm just saying generally as a woman mm. as a person i would say this would be the reason why i would look uh, look for somebody else right irrespective of whether i have it or not in my marriage because my marriage is my marriage it's there mm. <laughs> i i can take it yeah. for granted i can do this i can i'm not saying yeah. me please don't sure sure me. no yeah i'm saying as a person mm. so it's an individual choice on the other hand i might be a woman who's completely fulfilled mm. who has the best relationship with her spouse found her soulmate she still might get attracted to a b and c but she won't act on it because she's got what she needs here and she's not looking for that extra validation she doesn't need it so i think I think it's a question of need. What do you need at that moment? Think, Manju, I'll ask you because you're a filmmaker here in the crowd. Um, everybody talks about this happens in the film industry, media industry, glamour industry. Uh, do you think this is because these few industries, all our industries, are in the limelight always? We are talking about it. This will be on TV, online, or this you think is rampant everywhere, and we just don't see it and we don't hear about it? I think it's rampant everywhere. Okay, uh, it's been like. Because for ages, mm. you're right. Since we are in the limelight, so people mm. talk about it. Mm. Uh, it's been written, mm. but uh, it's been there. I'm, it's been I'm there. sure. My take is, uh, as long as you have reasons, right. I, mean, I have, I'll have a valid reason as a, as a male. Mm. Oh, I need some emotional, uh, you know, some Fair security, enough. or I'm physically not satisfied. So I'll get in relationship. It may be a one night stand, right? Whatever, fine. It shouldn't become a pastime. It should not be a. Now it has become a pastime. Mm, that's very. Or an addiction. Yeah. yeah. So that 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 that, whatever, yeah. that that kind yeah. of shows what your society has become. Yeah. Great. We'll ask the same question to Pura. Pura, uh, do you think because you guys are in the glamour industry, in the film industry, there's more relevance given to cases in this industry and the media industry, or do you think this is rampant everywhere and we don't get to know and we don't talk about it? Well, yeah, that's interesting because the the media, fashion, glamour—I mean, however you want to label it—industry, uh, the sort of creative space, creativity is all about pushing your own limits, you know, and sort of going out there and exploring yourself and finding new things that you want to put out creatively to the world. Uh, so that's what creative people do. So it's it's but natural for a lot of exploration of self and exploration of sexuality and exploration of what you really want in life and going out and getting it. Exploration of one owns freedom um happens a lot in this business and uh, so i i would imagine yes it, it it happens a lot more here more openly over here let's put it that way great purab thank you so much for joining us from london i hope other youngsters want to get married because everybody has to get married or they will now get married when they find someone i think it's the latter okay. i hope it is overall i feel uh uh people now want to settle down with the right partner right. after they are emotionally content after they feel that They're they are at the, that this is they right, are at yeah. the right place in their life to really commit to a relationship right. and to take it forward mm. and of course hopefully when they found somebody that they can you know uh, right. be with right. on the other hand it's also interesting many of uh, us are settling down like after being through a series of relationships yeah. they finally settle down with that whole culture of uh, shaadi.com or those sort of uh, you know arranged 
in a in a way mm -hmm. have come in because mm -hmm. you finally have had it all and you just want to settle down with the person and you right. meet somebody for 2 months and 3 months and you think let's just go ahead right. that has also happened that it has happened awesome. to some friends of mine okay. and how she said i think that you know when you emotionally exhausted right. when you've been through your pain and turbulations mm. and you yourself have become more capable of giving into a relationship of yeah. going through certain compromises in order to make the relationship work right. and i'm not talking about compromises which are you know the typical uh, uh, leave your job ones and sure, those not yeah. those but basically just as right. a person as a human being right. where two people if they come together they have to make certain compromises right. for one another in right. order to make it work I think that's that's the case that right. you just basically mm. arrive at that point mm. and then you're and ready then. to be with right anybody like and just make it work right make it work fair enough Adik Manju in fact your audience is right here you are someone who's seen out of love absolutely uh, did it uh, did it by default yeah she's <laughs> already seen it uh, yeah what was your reaction when you watched it did it bring back all the cases that you go through it was very beautiful it was very beautiful in the sense that you know conventionally India is a society. where most of the families suffer for, from this thing called codependency codependency is a sort of a mindset where if i need to know how i am i will check in with my spouse when i when he wakes up in the morning acha aapko acha lag raha hai to mujhe acha lag raha hai koi khush nahi hai to main bhi khush nahi hu to the sense of self is not there so when there was no sense of codependency in the setup that you made the lady was very independent mm. the mother in law was so supportive whether it's men or women mm. a person has absolute uh, prerogative to take emotional financial physical responsibility for oneself mm. if you have to be in a good relationship i will get attracted to a person who seems confident and so self sufficient not someone who's needy all the time mm -hmm. how much of you can you go on supplying neha um, you know recently asha parek ji said that she promoted singlehood big time on the other side i saw emma watson is promoting singlehood big time now these are two women separated by decades but clearly the thought is the same mm -hmm. how do you see this they are they are both promoting and saying be single it's totally cool i mean i would totally agree with them till like one and a half years ago but then <laughs> <laughs> i went ahead and i bit the bullet yeah. if you are living your life instead of here and here and if if my life was this mm. i got married my life's been this mm. so you know it's not been like it's been like chatka mila and then shaadi mm. ho gayi mm -hmm. and then literally the, the minute we got married we just looked at each other after everyone left and we we're like now what and we're right. just like yeah we were we, we were just <laughs> like ab kya kare it's all the same and the, the same. only promise you make is that as long as it's this mm. and it's it's a bad word to use and i don't mean to use it in the in the form of marriage or anything mm. but I feel like it should be casual, it like be, no yeah. fast. It's not no a big the deal. The way we make it out. Like yeah, I I personally feel that that um, when when if if you're talking about uh, singlehood and mm. stuff, I've given that a shot. Right. And now I'm married. I'm still in that phase where I feel like this is also great. Mm -hmm. And I I love and respect and and look up to all these women who who still want to propagate it. Right. But having said that, mm -hmm. there could be a possibility that you know that that someone like an Emma Watson would would just mm. suddenly throw a curveball at all yeah. of us and be <laughs> and like, okay, now I found <laughs> someone. You don't hold back, right? right? right. So yeah, it's it's right. okay. You know, you have spent time with different generations. Also, now you have two lovely kids also in your house. Um, when you do you see a difference in what they discuss because like these two women are discussing the same thing poles apart countries different culture different sab kuch alag hai but thought dono ka ekdam same hai do you that's just two women right and yeah. I, i know plenty of women who don't feel like that at all they want right. to get married and they hmm. want to have the partner in their lives yeah. so I, as i said i think it's just a completely personal right right, right. like yeah. they said abhi abhi making marriage marriage in india because we, there's so much tamasha about it abhi still making it a big deal and it should go down slightly so that the pressure on youngsters is slightly less i think so because i think the pressure just because i i know that some people don't want to get married youngsters don't want to get married simply because they feel they can have the same thing as a marriage without mm. getting married right. they don't need to do that because the tamasha is so great mm. and the pressure is so great it puts a burden on the relationship mm. which i don't personally agree with right uh but yes i think i think the tamasha in our country is too much right. i think i think we are we are missing the point right the point is these two people the two people who are getting married that's the point then. now we've made it about the whole World. the whole community mm. or the whole world or mm. the whole xyz and it's mm. all about the insta pictures i think 
it's fine if that's what you want. Mm. I, as I said, I, I keep thinking it's just a personal thing. Right, it's but a personal I think thing. at the end of the day, marriage can be a beautiful relationship. It is, and course, it's a journey. Course, it's yeah. not, it doesn't begin and end with that, with that signature that you do or that those vows that you take. Mm. That's just at the start of the journey and it ends. I mean, it's, it just goes on and on. And, and I think the beauty about it actually for me is the learning to live with another person, hmm. the learning to risk, it's still learning, learning right. to respect the other person right. and it's got to be mutual respect right. and it's a constant, sometimes battle, constant shift, constant <laughs> adjustment, constant understanding, right. constant in a way it really humbles you it and, and, and yeah. living for yourself is hmm. the easiest thing to, easiest do. Thing to do. It's yeah. not at all challenging, the challenge hmm. is here. Right, the challenge is here. <laughs> Anupia, final thoughts. Um, you know, now when you, now that we discuss all this, when you go back and talk to your friends, I'm always coming to you for the younger <laughs> crowd. I uh, wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> you should go check my age. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me, when, when you discuss these things, is it, you know, will, when, so when you watch this show, it's a beautiful show, you should totally watch it. I uh, have, I already you have. You already have. You have not told us. Thing. Yeah, you please, uh, you're the, you're the director sitting right next to you, I'm sure they would love to hear some good words. No, I really loved it. I think the performances were great. Right. Uh, I did feel personally that it was a little... Uh, leaning towards the the woman right. because they were siding with her emotions and her understanding of love I and her uh, you know journey more. But at the other side, I, what I liked also uh, on hindsight is all the friends and all everybody, the relatives around her were not telling her ki jao ja ke dharna bol do ya fir leave the person and ab usne aisa kaise kiya. They were all kind of feeding and saying that talk it out, mm -hmm. work it out. Just because he's cheated doesn't mean it's the end of the road for you or the mm. relationship for you. Mm. So nobody was really making a big deal about it. Mm. Good. On that note, you all, you all have made a really nice show. I also finished watching it. It was a binge watch it completely. Um, so all the best. If you guys haven't watched Out of Love, do watch it on Hotstar. Uh, thank you. This was a lovely discussion. Just a lot of learnings, even just for all of us who are here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.